Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I've got the newest issue of Colour in Heaven. My husband came out with it last night, he's a sweetheart. And it is the Fledglings Fairy Special and this one is by Christine Karen. Now even if he hadn't have picked it up for me I would have purchased this because it is Christine Karen. I have had a bit of a flip through for it, a very quick one last night. And I've noticed that there's a couple of pictures that I've actually bought as PDFs. This PDF, so in my opinion, this issue is worth picking up if you like Christy and Karen because there is the um, the PDFs that she sells on Etsy, there is them images in there. Some of them are slightly different and I will go go over them. Now the first half of the book, I'm not going to lie, I, I probably won't colour many if not any of these. I think there's one maybe that I did think oh, I might colour because I don't particularly like the way that they change it. Uh, that's the original and they change it to line art for colour in heaven and it's not my um hello Rolla. it's not my cup of tea it's not my cup of tea i do like there to be more grayscale christine karen's uh, pictures but anyway nonetheless so that one is a new and exclusive one we've got this one's a new and exclusive one as well uh, so is this one so is this one so, I think it was last month, if you saw, I'm just checking, double double checking, um, is it this one? I will just quickly show you, got the, the one before, the gothic fantasy one, and I have put this paper to the test, and yes, it's not the best paper, it's not watercolour paper, but I did use distress ink with a minimal amount of water, uh, and I used... What else did I use? I think I used ink tents and some shiny ink as well on the top. And I've done quite a few pages in this one now. That one's really crinkled because I used watercolour on it. But I'm just showing you this because, you know, you can use different uh, mediums on it. It doesn't have to be just pencils. So just be careful with how much water you're using. You can see the difference there. How crinkled it is at the top on this one. But the rest of it is pretty much smooth. Whereas this one is crinkled all over because I used a lot more watercolour. So I did just want to mention that now. Yes, the paper quality has changed, but it's still workable in my opinion. Even though I do prefer quality over quantity, it is what it is. How many pictures are in here? There is 40 pictures, I believe. Yeah, there's 40 pictures in. So even if they cut that down to 30, but made the paper better, then that, I think that would be better in my opinion. Well, that's just me. So this is uh, another new and exclusive one. Another one as well. That's quite cute. A new and exclusive. Another new one. She's pretty cute as well. I mean, I don't know about that, but she's cute. <laughs> that one's new. So you are getting a lot of new and exclusive ones. I mean, these ones, Christine Karen could have just purely drawn for Colour in Heaven. I mean, by the looks of it, new and exclusive. So the ones that I recognise as being traditionally grayscale and then transferred, I will show you. Yeah, so this one's a new one. This one. I purchased this one on Etsy and it is uh, beautifully grayscaled. Beautifully grayscaled. So this is the line art version. I don't think it is as nice. But that makes more sense that now, doesn't it? That's These are probably original ones that she's drawn for Colour in Heaven. And then a couple of these other ones have been changed. So I don't know all of Christine Karen's work. I'm quite familiar with her, but I don't know all of them. So I will pick out the ones. It's got a bit of a, can you see that? The wrinkle through it. I mean, my husband picked this up literally off the shelf and he's brought it home. So it was on the car seat and it's brought home. So it wasn't even in a bag. And it's really, really crinkled. I don't know what on earth is going on there. No idea. So I don't recognize any of these as being, uh, they could be in the boots because you can buy, <coughs> excuse me. You can buy the printed versions on Amazon, but again, it's on uh, the Amazon printed paper. This one was a PDF, I do believe, and I almost nearly bought this one, nearly. <laughs> so I am glad that I've got that one now. I'm not sure about this one. I couldn't tell you. Um, I do recognise this. This might have been in one of the, the other boots that she's done, because I do recognise that one. I don't recognise that one either. I love her wings. Love her wings. So 
so more of an elf furry one. This one was a PDF as well, another one that I almost purchased, I'm sure it was, I'm sure it was. It might be interesting to do a tutorial maybe on how I'm going to colour the stonework on this. I could do that, it shouldn't take too long. This one was a PDF, this is one of the PDFs that I did purchase and I did colour this and it is perfectly grayscaled, beautiful image. I did it in, um, I think I give it like a blondie brown hair. And I use pastel pinks and pastel purples for all the fe feathers and then give her bright blue eyes I do believe, although were pink eyes. It was beautiful anyway, beautiful picture. Another really nice grey scale. So I would say, where did this start? So 21, so you're getting half of the book that is grey scaled. So I do think that it's worth it. Adorable, adorable. I think that might have been a PDF or pack, part of a pack maybe. So all these ones are really, really nicely grayscale. Obviously, if you don't like grayscale, you, this isn't going to be your cup of tea. How beautiful is she? Oh, she's so cute. She really, really is cute. Uh, furry flower bouquet. Furry besties. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the creases. No idea. I think this one was a PDF as well, Sugar Plum Furry. I've got a funny feeling this was as well. And this was in one of the other books. I recognise this seedling. Uh, Leaf Rider. Happy Furry. Starcatcher, she's really pretty and she's like an angel. And this was in the OG <laughs> colour in heaven that I've got that was a Christine Karen. This was one of the first images in the book, I do believe. Fox Rider, Soulmates, uh, this was definitely in one of the printed books because I tried to scan this to put it on better paper and it didn't work very well, Forest Spirit, Furry Magic, this is from one of the books as well, the printed off ones, Whimsy Furry, I don't recognise that one. But yeah, that is this issue of colour in heaven. And to be honest as well, I've not even noticed that the the foiling has gone. Because I keep my books like stacked together like that anyway. I'm not to notice. And then when I open the book, I'm obviously not seeing the front cover. So I'm not fussed about that. Maybe take some of the images out, colour in heaven. Take some of the images out and just make the paper better. Paper quality. Just a tiny little bit better. But this is available now. Um, Danny did pick it up from uh, Tesco or Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's, he went for his dinner. Sainsbury's. Um, but I did get into chat last night and it is in the, the Tesco. So get yourself down to a local supermarket. Unfortunately, I know you guys that are not in the UK, you do have to wait quite some time for shipping. It must be terribly frustrating for you. But it's the opposite way around, there's some stuff that we can't get over here or we have to make a, wait a million and one years, so it swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts. But anyway, until my next video, take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye!